Hi guys, what's up? Tim here. So in this video, I want to show you how you can make a sticky header for your WordPress or Elementor page. So I created a brand new page here. Here you can see this is my uh, test website. And right now I don't have any any header here in the website. Um, yeah, this is just a demo website and I want to show you how this works. So. Um, for this we are using elementor and we are using also so we are using the normal the free version of elementor and we are using two other plugins that we want to install and in a later video or in a, in a separate video i want to show you how you can make a sticky header if you have elementor pro but for um, this video i want to show you how you can make a sticky header with uh, the free version of elementor so okay i have in installed um, right now only Elementor I think yeah only Elementor is installed Elementor free version and um, now we want to add two more plugins so I will go to add new plugin and then in the plugin search bar I search for element kit elements kit light uh, I think it's called Elements Kit Lite. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Elements Kit Elementor add-ons. So um, then I want to uh, install this. So now we can activate this plugin. Okay, and now we want to install another plugin so I will go again to add new plugins here then um, I search for <clears throat> sticky header uh, sticky header if effects uh, let me yeah sticky header effect yeah there it is uh, sticky header effect effects for Elementor uh, I want to click on install and now come on <laughs> we want to click on activate so great now we have uh, three plugins uh, elementor elementor kids light and then um, sticky header effects for elementor and now we want to create our header so uh, i want to go here to uh, element ele elements kit and um, here I want to uh, go to a header and footer and uh, now let me see okay now we first have to uh, set up everything here uh, let me see if everything is good on scroll open on scroll um, we don't need this right now, so we'll go to next step. Uh, next and next step. Next step. Next. Save changes. Cool. Uh, then, then I will go again to a header footer. So and here you can see here are um, our uh, header and footer templates. So I will go to uh, header or I will go to add new first of all. So and here I can give this a title. So in this case, uh, header, uh, here you can see type. Yeah, it's a header, uh, the conditions on the entire site. This is good. Then um, I will make this active and then I will click on save changes so and then I will go to uh, click on edit here nah, no not edit edit content yeah and here we can build our header so um, first of all we go we add a new box here a new flex box then uh, let's make this um, or let's make this full width then I will go to content width uh, full width so then um, let's go back here let's grab a container and 
here we want to make this container <coughs> full width as well. Grab another container, then I will duplicate this. I will go here, change the direction. So, and here we want to have, I will click on the plus icon. I want to insert an image or the logo of the page. And here's our logo. I will click on select and I don't know why. Uh, make it this way, so it's better. And yeah, I think this is a little bit big for a logo. Uh, custom, make it 250 uh, wide. So that's good. Um, maybe this. And let's go here. Let's uh, duplicate this. So right now I don't have a menu here. Um, so let's uh, make a placeholder here. So or for example, we can search for menu, then we can uh, um, nav menu, we can put this here. So yeah, uh, right now I don't uh, made any menu. So uh, we can of course later add a menu, but this is only a placeholder here. And on this side, I want to add a button, a simple, simple button. Let's uh, style this a little bit so to have a blue button. Click here. Yeah, and I think this is enough. <laughs> uh, let's uh, make this real quick. Nope. <laughs> Not working. Ah. So, okay, um, let's publish this. So, and now that we saved this um, header here, let me go to the um, front page and let me click on refresh. And here is our header. Here you can see this is our header. Of course, we can um, argue about the design, <laughs> but uh, just uh, to showcase. So, and now I want to show you. So now, right now you can see um, this. Uh, header is not sticky and now I want to show you how you can make this header sticky so we go um, again uh, here to the to the um, Elementor backend where we created our header and then we click uh, here on the whole section on the six little dots and here under advanced then from layout we go to advanced and here you have the layout settings, uh, motion effects, and also you have a sticky header effect. And here you can simply enable this. And here you have uh, different, uh, different settings. You can enable this, enable or disable this for the different devices. So for example, right now it is it is uh, enabled for desktop, tablet and mobile. You can, um, of course, uh, disable this when you click on the X button here uh, next to tablet and mobile, then you can disable this. Uh, the scroll distance, you can uh, play around with this. You can make it transparent or not. So if you want to have this transparent, you can give this, uh, give your sticky header a different um, background image, a background color. I mean, and uh, yeah, there are a few other things you can do here. Uh, you can see a shrink header, shrink logo. Um, there are really cool effects here you can you can play around with. And yeah, this is um, relatively simple. Then we click here on publish again. And let's go back here and let's refresh the site. And now, now you can see, yeah, we have a sticky header. Of course, the menu is not is not shown that we placed here, because yeah, right now we don't have any menu on this site or in, yeah, in this WordPress website. But uh, yeah, you can see this works, and this is really easy. And um, let me sh show you one other thing. Um, if you don't want to create uh, this from scratch, let me um, go back here. Uh, let's go back to our de not the dashboard. Uh, let's go back to elements kit uh, header footer. Here you can see um, this is our uh, our current header. So here you can see it's active. 
and let me create a new one and i think uh header header two uh, type header entire site let's click on save changes first and then we go to edit and we go to edit content and I think we can also uh, choose pre-made header section. So when we go here to the um, uh, uh, here to, to this uh, button, to this red button, then I think, uh, let me see, uh, under sections, I think, let's see, categories, uh, heading, header, info, Uh, I thought maybe header info header here is header. So and here I think yeah here you can see here are some pre-made header sections. So if you don't want to make a header from scratch, you can uh, simply go here, uh, go to the header category, and then um, here is one, here is another one, here is another one, and. Um, yeah, here's another one. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I think, yeah, four. I think it's okay. And then simply we can uh, click here on insert. And now we have this pre-made header section. Yeah, of course, this uh, header section is uh, cool. So then you don't have to design it from scratch. You simply uh, can uh, choose your logo file here. Uh, insert your logo and then here is your menu and yeah then um, again when you um, uh, yeah finished uh, with the design process then simply go to advanced go to uh, go to go to go to where is it um, motion effect uh, sticky header so I, I think I have to first publish this and then we can see this uh, let, me, no, let me refresh this. Don't know why we cannot see this or because uh, I think this is because this is not active right now. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, you can only activate this uh, when the header. Oh no, oh no, there it is, there it is. Yeah, okay, then you can make it active or not. And um, yeah, so that's it. Yeah, now you know exactly how to create sticky headers with Elementor and with two uh, free plugins and yeah, I think that's it for the video. So if you found the video informative, if you learned something new, then um, please press the thumbs up button on the video also please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, support me on patreon you will find all the links in the video description down below and yeah so then that's it so thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye